Hey, Darren here with Engadget. We are looking at the Seagate GoFlex satellite. So this is a new external hard drive that you'll see here. It's a USB drive. Uh, it's a little bit chunkier than some of their other hard drives, um, but there's good reason for that. Uh, at, just like some of their other drives, this has a GoFlex adapter here at the bottom. This is the USB adapter. So you plug this in, and at the end of this, there's a USB cable, USB 3.0. You can obviously buy different GoFlex adapters for different interfaces, uh, but this is uh, the one that came with it. You'll also get a car charger here, which is very interesting. This actually goes into a cigarette adapter, and then there's a USB on the opposite end. Um, interesting design. You may wonder why would you want to charge a hard drive. Uh, that seems unusual, but you'll see two LEDs here. The answer is, this is actually more than just an external hard drive, this is a media server, a wireless media server inside. So we're going to turn this on here, so you'll see that the Wi-Fi, there's actually a Wi-Fi beacon inside of this drive that has come on. This is uh, the iPad 2, obviously, there is going to be an iPhone, iPod, and iPad app for this particular device, so you'll just launch the GoFlex Media app here. You'll see it says disconnected here in the corner. It tells us this, we're not connected. So from here we need to go into the settings and instruct our device to connect to the Wi-Fi network that this is sending out, not any other Wi-Fi network that you may have in range. So we'll do that. So you'll see here I'm connected to a home Wi-Fi network. But you actually have to select this GoFlex satellite. So you do disconnect from the internet whenever you're going to stream uh, music or content, you'll notice that there's a, a blue LED flashing, which means a connection is being made. So you'll disconnect from the internet when you're streaming media from this. So take it or leave it, but that's how it goes. I guess you, you know, if you wanted some push emails in the background, you're going to have to wait, but it's just one of the uh, intricacies of the device. So uh, well, that has nothing to do with it. Let's see. Um, so it says connected here in the corner. So we are connected. It's as easy as that. You can set up a password on that if you'd like. It's just open uh, here for now. But you can password protect that. So from here you have a pretty rudimentary um, media server backend. It's just nicely packaged in an app. So if you go to My Satellite, you'll see sort of an overview of videos, photos, and music. And obviously I just uh, click some of the music here. So you'll see videos, photos, and music. Uh, if you go to videos, you'll just get uh, the video. So we just put this on there a few minutes ago. Let's see how this works. So this is actually a 1080p video clip, uh, .mov file, streaming wirelessly from this hard drive into the iPad here. And the uh, quality is delightful, actually. It's really good. Um, I can't see any artifacting whatsoever, no lag in the video. This is a pretty hefty file. Like I said, this was shot uh, in 1080p, and I have not transcoded it down in any way whatsoever. So this is just going over Wi-Fi. The range is supposed to be about 30 feet on this device. Obviously, being side-by-side -side probably helps somewhat, but definitely a nice look on the video. Photos, not nearly as bandwidth intensive. We'll just pull up a few sample photos here. Let's see if we can swipe through these here. No? No swiping on the... Uh... Oh, so that would be nice for the next iteration. Uh, there's a couple of ways that you can look at the... You can look at them in a line item view or a grid view. Fetching initial data here. So unfortunately you cannot swipe, which uh, seems a little bit odd. Maybe if you create a gallery, individual galleries would swipe. So down in music, it's just going to pick up what kind of music files we have. Let's see, we can sort by name, data sending, file type. Um, definitely wish we could sort by album. This is extremely basic, extremely Spartan music uh, categorization here. But it does work. So there you have it. Documents. Um, let's see a quick look here. So this just pulls up a document. This was just a getting started document. Pretty simple again, but it does work. Here's a folder view. Um, let's see if we can get into music. 
this way. Well, that was uh, photos, so we'll go into music here. Okay, so this is a bit nicer. You can actually see the albums and artists here. Let's go into Emory. There should be, okay, there are three albums here. And then you can see from there. Okay, so the folder view is a little bit smarter than the music view, oddly enough. Settings, it tells you what firmware you have. You can update it from here. Turn password on or off. You can disconnect. Reboot the device. So like I said, this is basically a web server packaged into an app. And... Uh, Obviously, local content, we can pull this up too. This just looks in my iPad for music. I haven't synced any music with this iPad yet, so it's not too surprising that there aren't any there. Same with photos. Um, one other thing I did want to show you, if you do try to go on the Internet while you're connected to this hard drive, it will redirect you to this, goflexsatellite.com. Now, this is the web server not packaged in a nice app, but it is effectively the exact same thing. Um, you'll see this music folder that we just visited. It, uh, it takes a little bit longer to load through the web, but it does work. So we'll go back through Emory. So effectively, this is the exact same thing. So if you don't have the app, if you do launch Safari while you're connected, you'll pull up the web server actually through the Safari browser, and basically the same thing is going to happen. It's just obviously packaged a lot nicer in the app. So that is the GoFlex satellite and accompanying iPad app. It will also be available for iPhone and iPod Touch.